Now earlier we saw how you can use the undo function to undo your last action. But when dealing with notes in a pattern, a more sophisticated way is to use the erase key. If you'd like to erase all or part of the notes in a pattern, simply hold the erase key while the song is playing and hold the pad corresponding to the sound you'd like to erase. Notes will be erased only while the pad is held down. In other words, you can choose which notes to erase by holding the pad while the unwanted notes are playing. So I'll erase this shaker part. Great, let's top off our pattern by adding a lead. We'll find a lead sound by using the browser. I'll replace this kit's conga sound. As with bass, we'll choose sound from the factory library, except this time I'll choose lead. And I'll load this sound, monochord. Now you might prefer to play things like melodies using an external MIDI keyboard. And to do this, you'll connect it to the MIDI in on the machine hardware controller. Select it via the audio and MIDI settings of the machine preferences. Note that the connected MIDI device will always play the currently selected sound. And when using a MIDI keyboard, it will automatically play the selected sound chromatically. There's no need to enter keyboard mode as we did for the bass sound. Now I'm going to record this lead sound on our existing pattern, but the pattern is currently only one bar. If you want to give yourself a little extra room to solo, you can hold down the pattern button and choose button 2 above the LCD, and this will double the length of the current pattern. Great, so let's add a lead part to our pattern. <laughs> 